Puberty is a crazy thing. Think back to your childhood. Remember all the wild mood swings and erratic behaviors that were a result of your hormones? Well, your child is going to go through them too, so you best be ready for it. But it is possible that you may have to deal with your moody teen a little earlier or later than expected. So should you be worried if your 8-year-old daughter gets her period, or if your 16-year-old son has yet to hit puberty? Hello and welcome to Sam K Parenting. In previous videos, we've covered the signs of puberty in both boys and girls and what to expect when our teens start this new chapter of their lives. Today's video is all about delayed and precocious puberty. We'll discuss what to expect when puberty doesn't arrive on time. If this is your first time here, make sure to turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on our regular updates every Thursday. Now let's jump straight in. Can puberty happen early or late? It's entirely possible for puberty to not happen on schedule. Medically, these conditions are known as precocious puberty if it happens early and delayed puberty if it's running late. And we're not just talking one to two years here. Precocious puberty can affect girls younger than eight and boys younger than nine. And delayed puberty can mean that your daughter may not start having her time of the month until as late as 16. So you might be wondering, is this something you should be worried about? It can be a bit weird, but don't stress about it. Precocious and delayed puberty can have different causes and different effects, so we'll break them down separately. Firstly, let's take a look at precocious or early onset puberty. Sure, having your 7-year-old son start to get a voice deeper than their dad's can be a bit unnerving, but in most circumstances, there are no long-lasting impacts of either delayed or precocious puberty on your child's health, assuming that neither are caused by any pre-existing conditions. For peace of mind, you can always consult a family doctor or pediatrician if your child goes through puberty well outside the normal age ranges. That being said, the physical changes are very noticeable in children experiencing precocious puberty. Namely, you'll notice that your child will start to grow tall and start physically developing pretty quickly. This might make them the talk of the playground, but pretty soon they'll stop growing whilst their peers continue developing. This is because your child's bones will mature more quickly than normal resulting in a premature cessation of growth. In the end, your child may actually end up being shorter than usual, despite them getting an early growth spurt. Additionally, puberty on its own can be quite a stressful and isolating experience. If you were the only one going through it, what do you think it would be like, and how do you think you would feel? We've linked a few articles in the description that cover the problem and how to solve it. It's possible that your child might start to become a bit self-conscious about the changes their body is going through. And while this may sound like par for the course regarding puberty, remember that they're going through this way earlier than they should be. Understand that they're going through something that's completely unknown to them. Health can be a major risk factor in exaggerating the effects of precocious puberty. So watch out for your child's health during this process, encouraging them to maintain a healthy weight and avoid or limit processed foods. There is some evidence to suggest that additional dietary sources of estrogen and testosterone, as well as childhood obesity, may be a trigger for precocious puberty. To read more on this topic, check the links in the description below. Delayed puberty. What about delayed puberty? Should you be worried if your kid is taking a long time to start resenting you? Fortunately, you can enjoy the cuddly, happy side of your kids a little longer without worry. In the majority of cases, kids that have to deal with delayed puberty end up developing exactly the same way as other kids. Obviously, however, your child might be the butt of a lot of jokes in school, being a late bloomer and all, especially if they're a boy. So it's important to take care of their mental health and make sure they're not feeling too stressed or embarrassed about their situation. Also, while delayed puberty can happen naturally, it can also be a symptom of a deeper-rooted cause. Various disorders such as poorly controlled diabetes mellitus, inflammatory bowel disease, kidney disease, cystic fibrosis, and anemia can delay or prevent sexual development. We've linked an article in the description below with more information. This is unlikely, but it's worth making an appointment with your healthcare professional to ensure that your child is a late bloomer because of pure chance, rather than a more serious condition. Additionally, boys who suffer from testicular disorders such as testicular torsion are at a greater risk of delayed puberty. Similarly, if your child is extremely thin due to exercise or dieting, their puberty can also be delayed. Regardless, delayed puberty in itself is harmless. There might be some social adjustment required, but just as the saying goes, you'll get there in the end. 
There are medicinal treatments available in the form of hormone therapy that can kickstart the process in extreme cases, but this must only be considered under the advice of a pediatrician. It can be tough being the odd one out, but the best thing we can do for our teens is let them know that they aren't strange, weird, or that there's something wrong with them. While cases of precocious and delayed onset of puberty are fairly rare, it's important to remember that with the right support, the vast majority of teens who experience this condition go on to lead normal, healthy, happy lives. If you found this video helpful, please click on the like button and share with anyone you may think can benefit from this information. Until next time, thank you for watching.